So Robert, let's start with payroll data. You're calling February a whopper of a payroll number. So what is that number and how does that compare to recent months? The numbers of payroll jobs up 313,000, very, very strong. Uh, consensus expectations in the range of about 200,000. And then we have uh, positive revisions for the last two months. So when you net all that out, we gained about 167,000 jobs more than what we thought we would for the month. And that's like adding a whole new month uh, of, of job gains to, uh, to 2018. So we're getting, you know, in effect, 13 months instead of 12. So very strong numbers. Okay, let's talk about the unemployment rate. It's still at 4.1%, but you expect that to go lower. Why is that? Yeah, the, the uh, fifth consecutive month at 4.1%. Um, it, it comes from a separate survey. Uh, this is the household survey of employment as opposed to the payroll survey. And that survey can have very lumpy data. We actually saw over 800,000 jobs added in the household survey and the labor force going up similarly very, very large. So I expect those numbers to reset in the months ahead and that downward trend in the unemployment rate to reemerge and maybe leveling out someplace, 3.8, 3.9. But I think we've got some downside to go on the unemployment rate before this is over. One of the areas that increased for jobs was manufacturing in February. We saw 31,000 new jobs in February. Yeah. Uh, what information came out this week about manufacturing and non-manufacturing? Well, we saw the ISM manufacturing and manufacturing reports late last week and earlier this week, and both were very strong numbers, about 60. And, and, and when those, those indexes get up to a level of about 60, that's reading very strong activity, very good conditions, and they have sub-indexes associated with them, employment sub-indexes for both those series, and those numbers are strong. So. You know, my, my headline for the, uh, for the jobs data when it came out was uh, the U.S. jobs machine keeps going. And, and that's exactly what we're seeing. That this is this, seeing this economy is just cranking out the jobs right now, pulling a lot of people into the economy. That's very good for the income numbers. It's very good for the spending numbers. You know, it, it's really quite remarkable this late in the business cycle to be seeing this strong, this kind of strong labor market data. So with all that information, what are your expectations for the next Fed meeting that's coming up later this month? Well, I, I think we can uh, pretty well bank on that we're going to get a Fed funds rate hike here March 20th, 21st, which is the next FOMC meeting. Uh, the Fed itself has gone into their blackout period, so we're not going to see any more data uh, from them, no more commentary from them over the next 10 days until the meeting. Uh, so, uh, but. But market expectations very high, about 90% uh, for a uh, rate hike on March 21st. So that's pretty much a done deal and very high expectations for at least two more rate hikes this year. And, uh, you know, the, the speculation is, do we have three rate hikes? Do we get another one in December? And I'd say about 50-50 right now, the odds of a fourth rate hike this year.